Hello, ICC family. This is another Message Minute with Pastor Todd. First of all, let me start today by taking a moment and reminding everyone that we will be continuing our regularly scheduled worship service this Sunday morning at 10 a.m., both on-site, meaning here in the building, as well as online. We are very confident that the previous cases of COVID were isolated events, and we are so glad to report to you today that we have had no new cases. Praise the Lord, somebody. Please know that all precautions have been taken to ensure everyone's health and safety here at ICC. As much as we want everyone to join us for on-site worship, we do continue to ask that if you are showing any signs of illness, such as a scratchy throat, respiratory issues, or running a fever, please join us online for worship at home. We want you to know that everyone's health and safety are our highest priority. It was the year 1809. The world was in total upheaval. Napoleon was sweeping through Austria and soldiers from many countries were dying on a bloody battlefield. The fate of the entire world hang in the balance and the world itself seemed to be on the very brink of collapse. It was a dark, desperate time to say the least in the history of humanity. But it's interesting that same year that all of these tragedies were going on, that several noteworthy people were also being born. In Great Britain, there was William Gladstone, destined to become one of England's greatest statesmen. There was Alfred Tennyson, one of the great authors of his day who was born to an obscure preacher and his wife. In the United States, there was Oliver Wendell Holmes, who was born in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Not far away, in Boston, Massachusetts, Edgar Allan Poe began his eventful, albeit tragic, life. In that same year, produced the cry of a newborn infant in an old log cabin in the humble abode in the state of Kentucky. That baby's name was Abraham Lincoln. If there had been a news broadcast at that time back in 1809, these words probably would have been heard. The destiny of the world is being shaped on an Austrian battlefield. While in actuality, history was really being formed in the serenity of infant bassinets all over England and all over America. You see, every age has its dangers. Eventually, every nation faces its tragedies. Even today in the United States, one of the greatest nations that has ever existed, we're faced with the concern of global pandemic, financial upheaval, international terrorism, and political uncertainty. But the world was in a similar state when the Christ child was born that night some 2,000 years ago in a small town called Bethlehem. It is in the midst of our world, folks, that God sends his hope into our very chaotic lives. Let us take time this Christmas season to remember that Christmas is about God's gift of divine hope given to a broken and confused world. Where there's no hope for the future, there is no power for the present. But praise God, the hope that we all long for is only found in Jesus Christ, God's Son. It was the prophet Isaiah who wrote in chapter 9, verses 6 and 7, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Only Jesus Christ can give us the hope for our future that we all need and the power for the present we all long for. From the Rigney family to your family, we wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very happy and hopeful New Year. So long, everybody. Merry Christmas.
Thank you.